And let's not forget the whole problem around trade deals. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. all saying, oh, be no problem, no problem, no problem. Well, just last week, the Japanese gave May a letter saying that, you know, they're going to consider withdrawing from Britain. They get a list of companies if there's no access to the single mm. market. Mm. Uh, Australia said yesterday or the day before that they'll not discuss a trade agreement for at least yeah. two years until this yeah. Brexit thing is settled. So you, you potentially have the risk of exiting the, uh, the, the common market, for lack of a better word, the EU market, and have nothing in its place to replace it. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't, as you say, I just don't know how they're going to square <clears throat> this circle of, um, you know, freedom of labour is a fundamental plank of the EU, one of the four fundamentals. <clears throat> and, um, you know, to gain access to the single market, you're going to have to accept free movement of labour, they are saying. And rightly so, <clears throat> you know, because it's a fundamental issue of the EU. So how do they actually square that circle? You know, they, they want to gain, gain access to the single yeah. market, apparently, yeah. or Philip Hammond does anyway. He's going policy to get the best deal possible. So how do they square that? They can't, they can't. can they? They can't.